What is up you guys? It's Katya Bolts. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a little different style video which I'm going to be talking about guarcum versus xanthan gum. So why I'm going to be talking about the difference of these two is because I tend to see that people when they make a protein ice cream recipe they're always using xanthan gum not quite understanding the difference between xanthan gum and guar gum, which one is better and what their actual uses are for. So in this video, I'm also going to be showing you an easy recipe for a lower carb option for a protein ice cream that doesn't utilize fruit. And I'm going to do it in my magic bullet just in case more people have magic bullets instead of a Vitamix or a Ninja blender because they are a little more expensive. So there is a way to do it in your magic bullet and then I'm going to be doing a comparison of the guar gum and the xanthan gum when used in the recipe. So just to get started with this, oh and if you haven't already click that subscribe button, join the fit fam, you know it doesn't cost you anything but anyways. So let's just start with what is guar gum and xanthan gum. Handy dandy Google tells us guar gum is made from a native seed to tropical Asia while xanthan gum is made by a microorganism called Xanthomonas campestris. I hope I got that right. But anyways, so guar gum is actually, oh wait, that's xanthan gum. <laughs> wow. Um, xanthan gum tends to be used for baked recipes. Why? Because it's a good filler for gluten-free recipes. If you buy an all-purpose gluten-free flour, you'll typically find xanthan gum because what lacks in a gluten-free flour is the gluten, which is the protein that binds it. So this is really good for making like breads, anything yeasted as well. And just to help give it that more chewiness that may be lacking when you make just a plain gluten-free recipe, whether it be like almond flour or some sort. Now, guar gum is actually used in more cold recipes such as ice creams and such, or nah, not really gelatos, but if you get the store-bought ice creams, look at the back and you will see guar gum as a, as an ingredient. You will sometimes see xanthan gum as well because they'll combine the two just as a binder so that it's shelf stable so that it stays in your fridge for a little longer than making like a traditional homemade ice cream. So now that you understand that guar gum is better used for cold recipes, let's actually make a protein ice cream so I can show you the difference between the two and then you can make the decision yourselves. Also, there is quite a price difference between the two. Guar gum tends to run between six, seven or eight dollars, where xanthan gum usually is around 12 to 13 dollars. So this is a lot more cost effective and you get the same amount and the macros are just about similar. All right, so for this recipe, we're gonna be making a super simple vanilla ice cream in which I'm gonna be using the Sun Warrior Vanilla Protein Powder because this is my favorite vanilla. So if you wanna buy it, feel free to use my coupon code so you can save 20%. Otherwise, yes, whatever milk of choice, I'm using the Good Karma because it is high in protein. So love this stuff, tastes really good. And then I've got one gram of the guar gum and one gram of the xanthan gum. Why? Because I'm using my smaller cup. If I use the larger one, like this one, and if you know what I'm talking about, if you have a magic bullet, you're gonna fill the ice to about here and you're gonna use three grams of the guar gum. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fill this guy with ice to about here and then the milk is gonna be up to about the same level because what we'll do is we're first gonna blend it with the protein powder until it's well combined, then add either the guar gum or the xanthan gum and add a little bit of water and then let it blend again. So the difference between using a standard mixer versus the magic bullet is that it will come out more so, I guess I can call it a protein froyo because of the consistency is not quite as thick that you can't do, you know, tip it over your head trick that Greg Doucette does, but it still tastes just as delicious and it's just a little quicker to make, I think so. All right, so you guys saw the ice. Now I just added the protein powder, just did about a half a scoop and then filled the milk to just where it meets the level of the ice. Now I'm gonna blend this up, put it in a cup, but stick it in the freezer just so that we have time to make the xanthan gum one. All right, so I finished the first blend and it should look pretty icy like that. And then now I'm gonna throw in the guar gum and add a little bit of water on top and then we're gonna blend it up again. If you just had the guar gum right on top and don't add a bit of the water, it will clump up on the blade. So do that just in case. 
All right, so I finished the Gorgum one and I had to kind of mess around with the ratios because I haven't made it in my small cup before. I ended up adding like a little more eyes and a little more Gorgum. So anyways, it's in the freezer, just kind of sitting while I make this guy and then got the xanthan gum and then afterwards I'll put them side to side so you can see the consistency and difference and I mean the taste will be the same but let's just do it so <laughs> reason you should probably get either a Vitamix or a ninja blender is because I did burn out the magic bullet so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit for it to cool down before I do the xanthan gum so yeah I'm gonna wait about five minutes and then I don't know play a little runescape and then we'll blend it up five minutes later. All right, so unfortunately, because I had to put the one with the guar gum into the freezer while I did the xanthan gum, it had like this icy layer, but look at the xanthan gum. Yes, it did get a lot of fluff, but it's like jello. Ice cream is not supposed to be jello-y. This, although I got the ratios a little off, is much more of an ice cream consistency. Well, in this case, soft serve, <laughs> because of the fact that I use the Nutribullet, but if you do it in the Vitamix, it will come out a lot better. But here it is. Here's that comparison again. Xanthan gum. I mean, they taste the same essentially, but in the end, this is going to cost you less. So moral of the story is that it is up to you to decide whether or not you want to use xanthan gum or guar gum. I'm just saying my recommendation is to use guar gum because the purpose is for colder recipes, whereas xanthan is used for like baking recipes. So if this video was helpful, you did enjoy the recipe. Also with the recipe, it's nice because you can Add some sweetener, add some van extra vanilla extract. You can add some cinnamon, make it however you like. It's super simple and so I love it. So I recommend it. Anyways, go try the Sun Warrior Protein as well. I'll link their website down below with the coupon codes. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.